Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I have something that I need to do here now, and there's a lot of people have been buying this one product from me, which is basically, and I'm happy about it, and like I'm not gonna say I'm not, but this is basically the uh, patch mock-up that I made a few months ago. Now, I kind of did you guys a disservice because I kind of rushed through that, and I didn't mean to rush through it. It's just I had the notes, I wrote it all out, and it was a long, low-key, like a two, maybe three-hour tutorial that I condensed down to like maybe 10, 15 minutes, I believe. And there was a lot of stuff that was said that was taken out and a whole lot of editing and stuff like that. I'm so sorry about that. But at the same time, I left the link where you guys can go purchase that, which was only $5. You can get it off my Patreon, you get it off my website, or you can just get it directly from YouTube. You can just go into the description box, like you can go into the description box right now and pick that up. And a lot of you guys actually have, and I'm very thankful for it because you guys have been giving me somewhat of like a small income, which is good for me because I need that at this point in time. But because I rushed through you guys never really got the chance to understand what was going on so i've made a whole lot of tutorials on like smart objects and why they're so you know worth it and stuff like that but i never really got the chance to explain this and somebody actually came into my dms which i'm gonna go ahead and read what she said so dj beauty and the beats which is a she's a really cool dj as a matter of fact she has a whole lot of followers on instagram i think it's like what 19k almost 20k duchess of ink follows her she came in my dms and she said i need help i purchased your patch mock-up which i got the notification when she did i was like dang like okay cool but i can't seem to make the graphics look like your patch from your youtube tutorial i'm really frustrated please help and then she goes on to say, once I purchase the patch mock-up, is there a tutorial I can watch that will walk me through how to make this image look like the patch you're using in your PSD file? Which, no, there wasn't. There was nothing like that in the sort. And I know there was some people that was like, okay, I need this. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I need to make this. And I, I was going to make it at one point in time. And then I got sick. And then I found out I was having a kid and all that extra stuff. And it was just like, oh, okay. Well, let me go ahead and do this now because we're not going to skip out on this anymore. So we're going to come over here in Photoshop, which I already got this stuff up, ready to go. And what we need to do is I'm going to show you guys exactly what people are kind of messing up on. One. If you're following me on that video, like, don't follow me, all right? Like, just, it was set up for you guys to kind of just watch, enjoy it, and if you want to emulate it, you needed to pause and just kind of take notes as you went. Now, this didn't happen here. What you need to do is just go ahead and go to the drop section in the layers panel, just double click on the drop section. This is gonna bring up the layer2.psb, okay? Now, this is where people are kind of getting like, I don't know what's going on, I'm a little lost, I'm not that good at Photoshop. Okay, cool, I understand, all right? turn off whatever group i got on here so i don't know if there's an update i think i put up the update or whatnot and you guys can definitely download like i said it'll be in the description box below but just turn this off all right and then in this case right now you can just put anything in here so i have my smiley outfitters logo that i've created some time ago that i use for smiley outfitters now all right if i was to hit command s or file save and then go back into this realistic patch mock-up this is what we get, all right? Now, this is kind of flat, and if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and put this on a background. So I'm just gonna put this on a white background so you guys can see. Or matter of fact, I'll just keep the purple. If I put it on a background, this is what we get, all right? And it's really flat. It looks more like a rug. I get that. This is one of the reasons why a lot of people hit me up and they say I don't understand because one they didn't put that in the right spot they just thought that they could just go into there and put their like I don't know maybe put like their image right here no you gotta double click in where it says drop get into this file right here like this layer 2 PSB and then drop your stuff in and then save it out and now translate back over into what this is here so you have to do that the other thing that I really suggest you guys doing which I was going to do a trick on this not too long ago go back into the layer PSB take the magic wand tool to click anywhere that you want to like pop out so for me I want to pop out all the brown okay so I'm gonna click on this brown all right and then I'm gonna hit command J doing that created a separate layer all right i'm gonna double click on this layer and i want to do a few things the first thing i want to do is kind of drop a shadow all right now the shadow blurred it out and that's kind of bad so we're just gonna bring that size back in to maybe like i don't know let's put it at 10 and we're gonna bring in an inner shadow all right and that inner shadow can be let's just say 15 all right and then we're gonna hit okay now i want to hit command s or go to file save and then we're going to go back into this other document now when we go back to this other document now you can start seeing there's kind of like an outlining of what's happening with the darks and stuff like that that's pretty cool now if you guys want this to be 
you know, whatever you want it to be. Like maybe you don't want it this dark. You want it to actually match that color just a little bit. Go back in, you know, hit those drop downs for the shadows and stuff like that. And just kind of use the eyedropper tool to make maybe just a darker version of it, you know? You guys, you don't always have to use black. It's not even really of a color. It's like the absorption of everything. But if you like it like this, I suggest at this very point in time, you pretty much got it, but you can go into the brightness and contrast and you can bring up the contrast just a little bit and those pop off more. So we're gonna bring it up to like maybe, I don't know, 25. And as you can see, that pops it off the background. So you guys, I hope you learned something. I hope you guys went to a better spot than where you came in at. And if you did, go ahead and smash the like button because, hey, I do this all the time. If you're new and you was just kind of looking at this patch mock-up and you didn't know how to use it, and I just showed you how to use it, go ahead and smash that like button. Tell me in the comment section below if there's anything else I need to clarify for you that I probably did in the past but, but didn't really go too far into it. Let me know in the comment section below. I love to help you guys out, and I'm loving that you guys are helping me out by purchasing this so i'm gonna leave this in the description box again so if you guys want it it'll be right there but with that being said you guys i have to get up out of here so stay amazing stay creative above all else stay awesome